Hello children, is it not a pleasant and lovely day today? Let us start a session, weather and climate. Weather and climate influence man's activities like what we eat, what we wear, the house in which we live and work. Hence, we are going to learn in this chapter about weather and climate, its elements and how they influence our life. Weather is the day-to-day -day conditions of the atmosphere at any place as regards sunshine, temperature, cloud cover, wind, fog, air pressure, humidity and precipitation and such other elements. It refers to short periods like a day, a week, a month or a little longer. Climate Climate is generally defined as the average conditions of the weather of a place or your region. The average atmospheric conditions are determined by measuring the weather elements for a long period of time, which is usually for 35 years. Factors of Weather and Climate Angle of the Sun Rays the length of daytime, altitude, distribution of land and water bodies, location and direction of mountain ranges, air pressure, winds and ocean currents are the major factors which affect the weather and climate of your region. The earth is spherical in shape, so the sun rays fall unevenly on the earth's surface. The polar regions receives slanting sun rays. Hence, there is little or no sunlight and there is an extreme cold winter. Vertical sun rays all directly fall on regions around the equator. Hence, the climate is very hot and almost no winters are there. Elements of weather and climate Temperature, rainfall, pressure, humidity and wind are the major elements of weather and climate. The earth and its atmosphere get heated from the sun through insulation. The degree of heat present in the air is termed as temperature. Factors affecting the distribution of temperature Latitude, altitude, nature of land, ocean currents, prevailing winds, slope, shelter, and distance from the sea and natural vegetation and soil are the major factors which affect the distribution of temperature. Heat energy from solar radiation is received by the earth through three mechanisms. They are radiation, conduction and convection. Temperature decreases with increasing height. This is known as lapse rate which is 6.5 degrees Celsius per 1000 meters in troposphere. Metrologists measure the temperature by the thermometer, Stevenson screen and minimum and maximum thermometer. The temperature of a unit volume of air at a given time is measured in scales like Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Temperature varies with time due to changes in the level of radiation which reach the earth's surface. This is due to motions of the earth, the rotation and revolution, and inclination of the earth's axis. The average of maximum and minimum temperature within 24 hours is called mean daily temperature. Diurnal range of temperature is the difference between the maximum and minimum temperatures of your day. Annual range of temperature is the difference between the higher and lowest mean monthly temperatures of the year. The distribution of temperature is shown by means of isotherms. Heat zones of the earth 
The fact that the earth is spherical in shape results in different parts of the earth getting heated differently. Based on the heat received from the sun, earth is divided into three heat zones. The three heat zones are toric zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Toric zone. It is a region between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This region receives the direct rays of the sun and gets the maximum heat from the sun. This zone is known as the torrid or the tropical zone. Temperate zone. This zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. This zone gets the slanting rays of the sun and the angle of the sun rays goes on decreasing towards the poles. Thus, this zone experiences moderate temperature. The frigid zone. This zone is also known as polar region. Since it receives the extremely low temperature throughout the year, these regions are covered with snow. The frigid zone lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole and between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. Rainfall Rain is a liquid of water in the form of droplets that have condensed from atmospheric water vapor and then became heavy enough to fall under gravity. Rain is a major component of the water cycle. Rainfall is measured by an instrument called rain gauge. Children, we can conclude part 1 with rainfall and will continue with humidity and air pressure in the second part. Study well, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.